So here at the IAA 2016, we have the Sprinter. The Sprinter is uh, already known. It's a common people carrier. And uh, I mean, still, it looks nice, but the difference is inside. Hello. Oh, Hello, Dave. Well, we have uh, Dave Clark is uh, with me today and uh, he is the owner and the founder of the company who builds this Sprinter. For my sins, I am. So tell me about this uh, vehicle. Okay, well we set out three and a half years ago to build the best Sprinter that we could for luxury people carrying. Uh, and the first thing was to move the side door, which everyone thought we were crazy for. So relocating the side door has all sorts of problems with new door skins and roof sections and infill panels. But what it meant was the entrance was in the centre of the vehicle, so you walk in between the seats. So I guess that was the first part of the crazy trip. This vehicle is just awesome. I mean, the space is enormous. Uh, it sits six people here in the back, I see. And uh, so actually, where, where can I get to the driver? Okay, so we have, we call this the hostess model. Um, and if you look to the front, we so can... So you have uh, a hostess inside? Yeah, so you can have a hostess through the electric doors to the cab. Or if you want privacy, you can hail from the intercom. There's an overhead intercom for every seat position. So for you every can seat. talk directly to the hostess and driver, uh -huh. yeah. So what materials are used to build this? Uh, well, the seats are our own seats and our own foams, and they're, um, they're skinned with uh, Nappa leather, so a very soft Nappa leather, uh, quilted and perforated. Uh, the seats are massaging, uh, heated, ventilated. Uh, we have air lumber, so they're a really fully functional seat and they're a Senzati seat, we don't buy them in. Um, on this vehicle we're using uh, Alcantara for all of the window surrounds and the headlining with the, the quilted double stitch roof. Uh, we also use a really nice long pile techno suede if people want something a little bit longer and thicker. Um, this vehicle is quite unique because it has double glazing and uh, also privacy glass. So the external glass can be switched for, for privacy. How is that done? LCD, liquid crystal. Uh, so we, we send a charge to our secondary piece of glass uh, and that just gives privacy. But it, it, it le keeps the light in the vehicle. So if you're reading a book in town, if you're a well-known celebrity, you don't want people taking photos, you, can, course, have, you can have all the privacy without anybody taking photos. But then if you do want to have a sleeper, if you're on a long journey, we have uh, blinds, uh, full blackout blinds uh, around the whole vehicle and on the, uh, the roof. Can you recline the seat, fully recline? Yeah, so this is a fully reclining uh, rear seat. Uh, the centre seats, uh, the, the, the back reclines. And they also have uh, a leg rest as well. We also have a few uh, nice features. We have uh, fridges under the, uh, the rear facing seats there. So very large capacity fridges. And then this vehicle has glasses cabinet with uh, crystal glassware. The tables for the, uh, the four club seats. These are available in uh, wood or in uh, highly polished stainless steel. And then under each of the armrests we have uh, HDMI, USB um, for charging your phone, your tablets, um, heating controls, a bit of mood lighting if we want uh, a bit of a bit of a colour change going on up in the, the roof. We can change the light colours. And one of the unique things to Senzati is that we have a, a huge two metre double glazed panoramic roof. The glass is solar reflective, but we still have a, a you know in, in very hot countries. Uh, a problem with the heat, so the, the insulating blind really helps out. To convert a normal, regular Sprinter into this fantastic vehicle, how does it work? Yeah, it's about 2,000 man hours. They're, they're, they're all built in England. The door conversion is a sort of separate project. So to move the door, to reskin the vehicle, and to put the roof in is about a, a four week project. And then 2,000 man hours over, a, over about 12 weeks to fit the interior out. Um, Everything is unique to this vehicle, so the vacuum form window surrounds are our own. The aluminum extrusions on the headlining here, they're extruded from our own die, so they're completely unique to this vehicle, as are the trim, trim panels. It's the largest headline we've ever seen at 3.7 metres in a single piece, um, so there's not a single break in the headlining, it's stitched by hand. Um, so there, there's a lot of unique features that make the build exceptionally complicated. The double glazing, the blinds between the glazing, it's hugely time consuming. Um, but it gives us a product at the end that, that's, you know, that no one's ever seen before. So here we have the, uh, the rear WC with the uh, Star Trek doors. You'll notice actually they're completely silent, but if the customer wants it, they can make the Star Trek noise. 
And this isn't a, a normal sort of cassette caravan type toilet, it's a, a porcelain super yacht wool hung toilet with soft clothes and uh, wet vacuum flush, glass bowl sink with waterfall tap. Okay, Dave, I think um, you sold me on that. Uh, <laughs> so what's the price tag? Uh, £300,000 for a car of this spec. Uh, we do versions without the WC and without the doors to the cab, uh, but this is about the highest spec we build currently, uh, and that's on a 5 tonne 519 Sprinter. Well, if I think that the Sprinter might be too big for my uh, garage... Uh yeah, we do, we do three models of uh, Vito and V-Class, um, sort of business, business plus and jet spec. Uh, and that's a, a much more entry level product. Uh, prices start from about £69,000, uh, including the V-Class, uh, and uh, head up to about £120,000 with twin TVs, um, fiber optic lights in the ceiling, uh, all of the toys. Uh, but it's a, it's a much more uh, cost effective uh, product. And it's rather good for city centre living because it fits in a basement car park. Sprinter is always limited by its size. This vehicle is 7.3 meters long, but a, a V-Class fits in most basements. So uh, the V-Class is absolutely the volume product. Sprinter is the, the ultimate toy. Are you actually using one of those vehicles yourself? Uh, we, we always have demonstrators on the fleet. I'm always running a car myself. Um, the Sprinter, is, we, we tend to keep for special occasions. It's a big, it's a big truck to park. Uh, but with V-Class, no, we use it like a car. Yeah, absolutely. Dogs in the car, guests out to the theater. I mean, it, we use it as our customers do. Actually, it's like a jet without wings. That's exactly how we market it. You know, the, the jet sprinter and the jet class is, is, is exactly that. It's supposed to be a plane without wings. If it, could, it. if it could fly, it would be my dream vehicle. Forum 24 TV Construction in Motion